Okay, so if I'm a mom, I'm just I'm just curious. If I'm a mom and I've got three kids at home right now that are not going to school for two weeks. Right. Okay. And we're home and I'm not working because I've got my three kids at home. You know, I'm feeling like everything's going in every direction. You know, how how would you help me to de-stress with these children running around? <laughs> Perfect. Now I have five kids. Now, two are in college, so that doesn't count. But the three, the three ladies are home. Mm -hmm. I think what I would say is to not fall into the concept of let everybody go do their thing. If everybody goes off and do their thing, everybody will be quiet and they'll be fine. If you do that, they'll turn into some weird monsters because they have screens connected to their eyes. We're really in patterns. So with the kids, I would say I would attempt to keep the schedule of a normal day as much as possible. Mm -hmm. okay, so no, it may not be the exact classes. It may not be history and science and math at a set time, but their brains are used to, and their nervous system are used to sitting still for a certain period of time and getting up. Mm -hmm. so I would say, hey, as much as we all want to sleep in, mm -hmm. let's get up early. Mm -hmm. Even quite as early, you know? Mm -hmm. Look, let's get up. Mm -hmm. Let's do whatever our morning routine is. Let's set aside some time to focus in some type of um, intellectual activity and give everybody a little space to do it. The living room, the dining room, the basement, whatever. You take this desk, I'll take that desk or this table. But get everybody to do that. Do it for a certain period of time. Call it an hour. Call it two hours. Then break. Have recess. Let's do some kind of family family time. Let's play Uno, or do a board game or something. Repeat that again. Go back into study mode, but now make it for a really short period of time. Next thing you know, it's time to eat lunch, or maybe have a snack. Mm -hmm. we do that. Or maybe we go and we take a nap. Maybe now we get some quiet time. Now I've I've eaten, I've groomed myself, I've done some work, I've had family time. Now I can go do something for myself. Now everybody goes off in their own little section and relax for an hour or so. If we do something like that, it helps mm -hmm. us be in a better routine. Now they still gonna drive me crazy because it's their nature. <laughs> okay, because see, I was thinking everybody grab a mop, everybody start doing spring cleaning early. Okay, we get this house clean from top to bottom, top to bottom. I don't want to see any speck of dust anywhere. I like I it. Go to the island. <laughs> go to the island. And you're probably going to go for two days. Day 13 is going to be a problem. <laughs> there's, there's nothing left to clean day 13. <laughs> nothing left to clean. But good tips. Those are great tips. And if anybody's home with their kids for two, two weeks, 14 days, some great resources. If they do not get anything from their school, um, Khan Academy, uh, YouTube has some great things for kids to do as far as learning, um, you know, for all different age levels. So there's a lot of things that you can do incorporated with what Dr. Morris said. So don't feel like, you know, this is a sentence because you actually can turn it into, you can turn lemonade, into super super sweet lemonade by getting your children to be at home and still learning at the same time and actually allowing yourself to get be productive as well so um, i think that there's a lot of ways that we can uh de-stress ourselves and as the parents you know what sometimes we have to sit down and just hmm, breathe <laughs> breathe breathe Breathe, breathe, breathe. So, um, you know, and then, you know, I, I don't know. This is just my practice. You know, I try not to watch the news very much. That's just my practice. Um, you know, if you need to watch it uh, to see, you know, what the weather is, what the traffic is you know, what's going on, but try not to watch things or, you know, or participate in things that are going to, you know, kind of heighten your, your stress level, you know, kind of like, you know, you know, yeah, you know, you need to be aware, but you don't need to watch CNN for, you know, seven, eight hours. I agree. I, I think that's a great tip. So another de-stressing tip or, or stress management rather tip that's that by itself is pretty powerful, Dr. Deidre, because it's, not news all day. Yes. That's a cycle. It's the, the, 
if you watch the news long enough, after so many minutes, they start talking about the same thing again. Yes, 15 minutes, yeah. It's like 15 minutes, it repeats. So it'll, it'll be fine. Like, it'll, it'll be fine. Let's, let's, let's ease back a little bit. Let's ease back. That's really yeah. like that. I love it. I love it. Okay, so we have conquered stress during a time that it could be stressful. With not having to buy any new equipment or get voted off the island. <laughs> I'll probably still get voted off the island because I'm like, no, mop the floor. No, no. We could we could get rid of all this stuff right now. So I'm, I'm just waiting because they say that I got I got a whole list. <laughs> whole list of things to be done. I only have one. So I'm like, you gotta do everything. <laughs> so you're really open and I get it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, you know, with that being said, you know, Dr. Morris has like, you know, he's given great solutions. You know, my solutions are okay, but you know, hopefully with everything that we've said that you can, you know, help, you know, de-stress your life during this this time that we have that's coming up and you know it's a good time to reach out and touch someone isn't it, it remember is. that slogan reach out and touch someone that's what i remember <laughs> yeah 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 give somebody a call how you doing <laughs> hey we can video chat look at us yes <laughs> video chat yes so you, you know i am um, i'm happy about that and i hope that um with the, the stress management um everyone, especially our clients, will be able to maintain their wellness, maintain, you know, their their level of of sanity, you know, with their children, with, you know, kind of being in the house and kind of having to be around the house and, you know, just kind of waiting it out. You know, sometimes in life you just gotta wait it out. And this is just one of those times you just have to wait it out. That's it. That's it. Well, listen, I think that's a great tip. I think that's a great close for this segment. And um, we're getting better together. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll see you guys soon. Next one's coming up.